Okay, so we've made the grass green, now let's make the sky blue or bluer. So nothing like a good rich sky to kind of get you excited about your image. And as before, what we want to do is to do all our basics. In terms of this image here, if I just reset it, I want to again, and it's a similar thing to making the grass green because obviously the two are connected, literally. A bit warm, more warmth in the image, warm is always good. Exposure wise, we could maybe drop it by around about a third of a stop. So 0.33 ought to do it. Very much into typing things in when I know, you know a specific value that I want to actually work with. Now this, even though shot with a camera phone, is pretty good exposure so there's no recovery and there's no real fill needed even though you know my blacks are a little bit kind of compressed or crunched up. I don't want to see what's going on in there anyway, you know, have a little bit of mystery about it, so shadows are good. There's plenty of detail in the shadows that matter in the foreground. Contrast wise, we've got enough there, but if you want to pep it up a little bit more, if anything, just bring it in and hit it with a little bit of clarity. So under plus 15, that'll do it. Concentrating on the skies, well they're already blue, but we need to kind of up the blue a little bit, so if you do command or control 3, that will open the hue saturation luminance panel. Now remember, I'm always flying in solo mode, so that when I open one panel, another closes. It just allows for good room when you're working in such a tight screen environment as I am for recording. But if you've got plenty of, you know, desktop, you know, real estate, then pretty much have as many panels as or sub panels as you want to have open open. Now once again, it's probably best that we use the target slider and target the blues, and you'll notice it's the aqua and the blue if I keep sliding. But we don't want to actually hit the aqua and the blue in terms of the actual hue, because the hue is good here, it's natural, it's realistic. If you have more of a kind of grey sky kind of heading over to what's happening up here, which we will correct a point later on, then you can push the blues a little bit more. So. Moving over to saturation, things are going to get more important. What we want to be able to do is just saturate the blues a little bit more. Now you have to be careful with skies in that you can introduce a lot of digital noise very quickly by moving these sliders about. So just keep an eye on your noise values. We'll just put the target slider back. You can see a little bit of grain creeping in already, even though it's a well exposed daylight shot. Luminance is where you're going to kind of combat that as well. And I always recommend it darkening the blues off a little bit. But it depends on how dark or how light they are to start with. Then after that, it's kind of down to some individual tweaks. So you're going to use your adjustment brush and set yourself up so that everything's at zero. You could go for one of the presets, for example, you could go for burn to darken things off finishly and then you know hit it with a saturation just to pep the color up overall it's up to you so if we go for burn we're just going to have a third of a stop difference in the exposure and then i'm just going to work my way in and kind of darken off some of the parts of the cloud i feel need it just ever so slightly and then we'll create a new pin so we'll click on new this time we don't want the exposure affected we want to just work on the saturation so plus 25 good old favorite and then again just pep up those colors where they matter like so and then from there we'll just tuck things out of the way now, you can't help but tweak the grass and the sky at the same time. So that's where we can go back to our basics and look at the overall vibrance. So we'll just give that a little bit more vibrance. And then if I close the basics panel down, and Command or Control 3, open up the hue saturation and luminance. What I want to do is just deepen the grass a little bit. Remember we altered the exposure, well this is effectively doing the same thing but only on the green. So we can bring the yellow down a little bit as well. Saturation wise, a little bit more green. And then the hue, push the yellows. If 
you push the greens, things kind of head a little bit more on the blue side, which sometimes can be useful. If you want to control the individual exposures, then this is where the adjustment brush comes in handy, or you could use a graduated or gradient tool. So from that point of view, you could go to one of the basics, go to again darken, and then just pull up a gradient from below. And then you can control the overall exposure on the actual gradient. You could do the same thing for the sky. Pull another gradient down to deepen the sky effect. Add a little bit more contrast, a bit more saturation, and we'll beef up the sky that way. If things are too on the sort of yellow side when it comes to the sky, then don't be scared to kind of go in and play with the overall, you know, white balance as well. Just by knocking it back to sort of minus three you will see it punches up the sky somewhat. And if you want to, you could go in and warm up the foreground just by again altering the greens. But there we have it. So I've kind of done this on the original this time, so we'll just make a virtual copy straight out of the original, and then we can reset the original. There we go. Get our left-hand panel up. Go back to the library. And you'll notice sometimes I click the menus up top, sometimes I use the keyboard shortcuts. It's however, I feel I need to use Lightroom on that particular moment, on that particular day. You don't have to religiously stick to the one thing. If you want to click, click. If you want to use a keyboard shortcut, use a keyboard shortcut. You'll not get shot from me for doing it. So, in fact, we'll just take away that panel again. There we go. There's before, it looked good. There's after, it looks great. So, that's how you pep up the skies using Lightroom quickly and easily.